So why? Why are we eating more? And to understand this, I want to talk about some of the components of our body that regulates body fat. And body fat is mostly regulated. The main center for regulation is in the brain. And I'm going to talk about something called, at first, the metabolic brain. Now, the metabolic brain is a concept of components of the brain that are receiving signals, either from food or from other parts of the body, to then regulate food intake and also energy expenditure. Okay? So the first part of this is meal regulation or satiety. This is a component of this metabolic brain. So how does this work? Okay. This is where you eat food, all right? It is ingested, it is transported, digested, and uh, substrates from the food get into the bloodstream. They travel up to a part of the brain called the brainstem, and there, both signals that are released from, so when you, by the way, when you eat the food, hormones are released, and those hormones get into the bloodstream, and they'll also trigger nerves within the gastrointestinal tract. And all of those signals from the blood and the nerve signals will coalesce in the brainstem. And from there, it eventually will lead to a feeling of satiety. So you eat, you're eating, 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 and then you're feeling satisfied, you stop eating. And that lasts for a little while. You get hungry again, and that cycle, this episodic cycle, repeats itself. All right? But here's a really interesting pop, um, there's a really interesting concept around satiety that helps us understand part of the reason why we might be overeating. So satiety is only partially dependent on calorie intake. All right? There's not a perfect correlation between calories and satiety. All right? So some foods are more or less filling than others. So what are the factors that make a food more satiating or less sati satiating per calorie? So decreasing satiety, meaning that the, uh, that you don't get as full per calorie are things like, these are food properties, by the way, caloric density and fat, all right? Things that increase satiety are things like protein and fiber and water. Okay, so now I'm gonna read a quote, and this is, I consider this mandatory reading for anybody who's interested in this subject, all right? This is actually, um, it's not published yet, so you're gonna have to look for it. So now that I've whetted your appetite, you can't find it yet, but you will, but you will be able to. And this is from Dr. Stephen Guillenet. It's, it's entitled The Sensory Properties of Food, Energy Intake, and Obesity, An Evolutionary Perspective. And it's going to be a book chapter in Ancestral Health. Non-industrial cultures did not generally have the technology to purify foods into a more concentrated state. Carbohydrate was typically obtained from food with a higher water and fiber content. Fat was not typically isolated, but occurred in conjunction with foods that contained a substantial amount, of, a substantial quantity of fiber and or protein, and this promoted a less energy dense, less refined diet. All right. Now to conceptualize this concept, I'd like to um, talk about volumetrics. Now this is a book that's been written by a professor of nutritional sciences, Barbara Rolls, at Penn State University. And this is a concept that explains what we're talking about, energy density, the factors that make you feel more full. So both of these have the same amount of calories in them. All right? And there you've got two halves of a sausage, some processed, um, looks like mac and cheese. On this side, you've got some shrimp, some potatoes, some steak. Right? There, this, was, this was a little bit more paleo. I know it doesn't perfectly fit into what is considered paleo among some certain, certain circles. But think about where, what you would get more full eating. Which one? And another example is this. So this is a processed tart compared to the same amount of calories as eight little jars of, of, um, of berries. Now I know for me, I could probably really easily finish this tart, but I probably couldn't finish more than seven of these <laughs> jars of berries very easily. So here's a, very, here's a key concept. Um, that I'm going to put out right away. Highly processed foods, right, which are energy dense, make you eat more calories before you're full. Right? So if we think about why are we eating 360 more calories than we used to 20 years ago, we are eating more processed food, and you're, you don't feel as full per calorie. 